Thanks Josh for telling me, hey, there is an update in the i3 WM department. So it's a tiling window manager. And yes, I've already checked. We have on Arch 4.24 because we have to wait for the Debian guys or the Ubuntu guys or whatever, right? Solus guys to create the packages. Yes, maybe you can build them, depends, right? But normally you just wait for the updates to come in and then you test it out. So let's do that. Testing it out, I mean. I have already a machine here. The machine contains, let's see, Arconet, version 4, December, second version, new Calamaris, no KM core problems anymore. That's solved. It's called Arconet. Decisions, just XFC. So probably the easy installation. This is the end result. And then we want to have i3. So you type ATT or you go find the application, the Arch Linux tweak tool. It was up here, right? And then you have this easy peasy kind of thing like drop down, finding i3, clicking on a button, waiting for the installation. i3 has not been installed. This is a clean installation, right? So the databases are not yet in. Warning, database file 4 does not exist. So there is a file somewhere in your system that actually says that's where the packages are. Those packages can be found and all you need to do is update, right? So it is really, really a brand new system. Did not type update at all and voila, result. So again, install. I can keep this guy a little bit to the side so you can see what happens. So it's a list of Lego blocks, but also a list from our stuff, right? So the Arcnex stuff, things that we created, our i3 configuration. And I just want to quickly check, is the i3 config that we have working on this uh, new app? So there's an app and there's a config of the app. And that's basically all of this. We're gonna check that. So quit, 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 quit. Eric is gonna log out, log out and choose something else, right? So don't do the i3 with debug log. Um, always choose i3 here. And there we are. Let's make this control F again. See if it finds the resolution because I have a stroke up here that says, hey, right? So let's see if it uh, finds it again when we log out again. Okay, better. So control C. Well, that's the conky, right? So Conkle C is not necessary anymore for me, right? Super T is the one you need to know. Super Shift T is the one you need to know. There's a Super Enter you need and the Super Shift Enter. That's it, right? The rest you don't need. Super Shift Q and Super Q and Super X. If that's not working, there's Super Shift X, right? Two ways to exit. And of course, you can just open the terminal if the terminal is there and peek kill things and then say i3 and kill it and up your back to the SLM. So yeah, I don't see any problems here, no errors here. Everything seems to work just fine. Do a quick test again. So this, uh, this is now control E, so a shortcut for the ATT in the terminal. Same thing happens. We launch Arch Linux Tweak Tool because in i3 there are some fun things. There's a themer here i3 we can choose the Linux default and all kinds of coloring systems which is pretty much probably gonna be okay just quick check the whole poly bar so this is the bar the i3 bar well, at some point in time i had the idea what if we just um let's take another look as well frama let's um use the poly bar we've made like um 10 but until between 10 and 15 of the mostly tiling window manager I guess use the polybar so we have lots and lots of lots of modules so and if you're an i3 and you like kind of like polybar then yeah we have this thing here right so let's log out so we've done that quit ATT control X log out and let polybar uh, work and control C again. This is your polybar with the kernel, the memory, CPU, and you get 
this is very uh, clean and then less is more kind of approach but you can add so many modules until the whole bar is filled with modules didn't make sense at the time doesn't make sense now to put it all to go like, with lots and lots and lots of modules so there's that that's working as well the coloring system has changed um, we have green borders now so all cool and the glitch here that I see is a little probably gonna be a virtual box Pykem kind of thing so Ctrl Alt O is killing Pykem and launching it again right as you see there are some things here Pykem and the doesn't really work but what you can do for instance as it, by way of test is Ctrl Alt end if it's installed if it's uh, created so probably not so you go Pacman minus S B top let's see if it is installed old version new version I guess I just need to type it then okay so filter um, Pykem right Pykem is now that Ctrl Alt O it's living again and that's it right there is a config file behind it again apps have configurations configurations work at some point in time then they develop something new or they change the completing of the format eh? conf becomes yaml, uh, yaml or, or whatever toml and yaml and all these things right and you need to change with it just saying that maybe right at some point in time in 10 years time i don't know that maybe it is more interesting not to launch Pycom with a configuration but just launch it with Pycom and just the default right this is just Pycom and its default configuration and see how that goes because somewhere in the code might be something in that you need to change that you need to update so in i3 there is a Pycom.conf Look, look at that right <laughs> great so the pycon.conf is basically yeah a code that works at some point in time with a certain version and you need to keep track if things change over time all right so yeah i3 have a look log out and we have still have xfce here and we can go back here and it's a good advice I can give you. Maybe you hate dialing with a mess. Oh, that's okay. Just not ready for it. I was not ready for it years ago. Just go in there for a quarter of an hour and just play around with it and just go back to XFCE again or to Plasm or Taya Cinnamon, the big desktops. And then um, have fun. But it is it is fast. I mean, it, the tiling time is gone when i'm here and i open a window the first thing i'll do is drag and drop it right ctrl alt t i will drag and drop it so the question is are you not supposed to be on a tiling window manager then right so think about that cheers for now